Well, let's talk about the partnership economy and why partnerships are rapidly becoming a popular avenue for businesses right across across rather the Asia Pacific over traditional advertising methods. For more on this, I'm joined by Adam Furness. Adam, thanks so much for your time. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. Now, let's talk about this. Why, in your opinion, is the partnership economy so important? Look, the partnership economy it's the revenue, it's the profits businesses are generating through all different types of partnerships and alliances. These partnerships could be um, two businesses or a business and an individual um, where money is made, value created and trust and audiences leveraged. So the partnership economy encompasses the people, the products, services and technologies that is driving the boom and, and it is booming. So why do you think that brands are, are really embracing this? I mean, right across across the Asia Pacific, but in, all across the world globally, brands are really embracing this form uh, of partnership. Yeah, they absolutely are, Holly. So it's been driven by the entrenched negative consumer sentiment towards traditional sales and marketing and advertising. So the research points to kind of four key drivers here. Over 80% of buyers just don't trust salespeople. Somewhere close to 70% of people distrust advertising. Half of the online population have downloaded ad blockers, Holly. And 90% of new advertising is going to Facebook and Google where the rates just keep rising. So in this type of environment, partnerships and alliances provide a really attractive alternative for customer acquisition and growth. Yeah, so you'd say that I guess people are getting sick and tired of traditional forms of advertising and marketing tactics? Yes, they, they are. They are being followed around the, the web by that pair of shoes. Um, you exactly. Know, do, we, do we trust it anymore, you know? <laughs> exactly, and it's so creepy how your phone listens to you and the next minute it's, it's up there. And, and not to mention as well uh, social media and influencer marketing as well. That's been a huge thing where people have lost trust in that form of marketing as well. Um, how valuable is this to brands in regards to partnerships? Yeah, look, it, it's super valuable. Firstly, the types of emerging partnerships are virtually limitless. You have strategic business partners, you've got partnerships between brands and charities, you've got partnerships with affiliates, mobile apps, social influencers. It's the micro ones and the nano ones where there is a lot of trust. It's the celebrity ones, I think, Holly, that you're referring to where there's some question marks there. Um, you've got partnerships with premium content publishers, sponsorships, ambassadors. So typically these business partners are paid on some kind of performance, ensuring successful partnerships provide value for all parties involved. And the prize is really big. Yeah, so where, where do you see the future going when it comes to these kind of brand partnerships? Um, my, my daughter's <laughs> phone is going off, which is, a, which is a bit of a nightmare. There you go, I've turned, I've turned it off in my, with my hand there. <laughs> Should have um, answered. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the um, where, where are they going, where the brand's going? So Yeah, so what, where um, do you see, I guess, in the, in the future ahead, the year ahead, where do you see the future of these brand partnerships? Where, where do you see the future of that headed? I can only see it growing, re really. Like, we, yeah. we see brands like Woolworths, KO Sport, Disney+, Plus, Adidas, Uber, Airbnb, David Jones, all taking part in, the, in this space. Um, let me give you an example of kind of how it works, I suppose, with maybe a brand like Canva. So Canva have recognized that, you know, they have a powerful asset in their Canva certified creative. So they call it CCC Network. It's a group of Canva super users uh, who educate others on, on how to use the tool. Um, Canva is a fantastic product and they, they provide this unique tracking link and discount codes to their CCC that ensures they're incentivized and, re incentivized and rewarded for driving sales. So, you know, we're seeing a lot more of this, this, this happening and like these type of um, partnerships for Canva alone have driven them like over a million new users in the last 12 months. So it's, it's huge. So would you say, in your opinion, traditional advertising is, is on its way out? Absolutely. Yeah, but brands are just looking for a, a new way to grow their organisations. Um, it's the next wave of enterprise growth and, and partnerships plays a big, a big role in that. And you may be thinking, you know, how does impact kind of play a role and why am I even talking about this sort of stuff? Well, we're, we're the technology that um, allows these type of partnerships to happen at scale. We provide like a toolkit um, to find partners, report on, optimise 
um, various types of partnerships and track success that make payments so they can make payments anywhere in the world. Well, that was going to be my next question to you. What's your advice on brands mm -hmm. wanting to get involved in this and, and, and creating these kind of partnerships? Because often that can be quite overwhelming. So you, uh, with you guys at Impact, you help that process along, right? Yeah, abso absolutely. So I think any brand that's thinking about partnerships, they need to think about um, the people in their organisation that can drive it. They need to think about kind of process of how how it works throughout their organisation, maybe with different departments, their marketing department, their sales, sales department. And then they need to think about technology if they're looking to kind of scale these partnerships. Um, and that's where we play, play a part all year. Amazing. Adam, where can we get in touch with you guys at Impact? Uh, you can always just go to impact.com or um, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm fairly active there. So you can look me up, Adam Finesse. I think I'm, I'm probably the only one in Sydney that looks like this. So uh, reach out. <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks so much, Adam. Thanks so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Holly. Take care.